Rachmaninoff's all-night vigil, also known as the Vespers, is a monumental work for a cappella chorus. The piece consists of 15 movements of over an hour's worth of music sung by an a cappella chorus with no other assistance. The text from the piece is taken from the All Night Vigil, which is a liturgical Orthodox service. Rachmaninoff set his piece in Church Slavonic, which is the traditional Russian text. Rachmaninoff is very different in the way that all of the movements also have the same depth and amount of meaning, but the variety is so great. I think a big challenge uh, when we started this piece was the language barrier. We have sung music in a couple of different languages uh, in festival chorus, but I don't think Russian is one of those because the way that it's written is different from the way that a lot of the romance languages are written. There were some initial roadblocks of people trying to figure out, like, how do I even say this word? I think it's really interesting when you're hearing a different language, but music has that power to convey um, a story through, you know, its inflections. I think it can be quite emotional. I think the most interesting part is when we turn to a new movement that we hadn't seen before and just first be completely overwhelmed because every piece just has their you know, individual intricacies. But then after going through it a few times and stopping and maybe going into looking at it a week later, just how much we realize, oh, this actually isn't all that bad. Like, it's hard, but all these, all the movements are hard. We'll get through it. And just that feeling of, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna get it. We've gotten all of it before. There's parts where voice parts are moving in different directions and very quickly, and there's other parts where it's very quiet and calm um, and peaceful. The fact that all 15 movements are sung without the aid of uh, any piano playing along, any organ, it's definitely a very interesting challenge that, that we have, I think, stood up to very well. I really like movement 13. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, there's like a big note in the middle of it and like it always gives me goosebumps. I spent a little bit more time looking at movement 13 because I helped to teach it to the Sopranos and Altos during one of the sectionals. Unlike a lot of the other movements, it's a very short movement but extremely beautiful in the way that it carries you off to like kind of an oasis from all of the very intense emotional pieces we've been seeing previously to that movement. Every time I listen to it, I, I hear a different thing that jumps out at me. I'm like, oh, that's incredible. There's some like really quiet parts, some of the interesting harmonies that pop out sometimes. So with this Russian text on top of an a cappella piece, so you have no support from a piano, no support from an orchestra, pages and pages and pages and pages and pages long, it's really, really difficult. And especially as a conductor, it's almost unnerving because there's nothing that you can do once you get into the performance to help them. It's all one big trust fall. Getting individual parts to sound good was not hard, but having them all come together and still being able to hear the individual parts was definitely a struggle, but we overcame it with a lot of practice. This piece is often sung by professional choirs. You don't see it typically sung by college choirs, especially ensembles such as ours filled with engineers instead of music majors. I think this piece has provided for a lot of growth um, for our group, um, both All In Voices and Glee Club and then our collective festival chorus. It has required us to trust each other 
um, by listening to each other's voice parts and to who comes in when. I think a lot of people in this group have been uh, excited to sing this piece and have taken ownership over learning their own parts. Um, I've heard of so many people going back to their rooms after rehearsal and listening to it while doing their homework or taking their music out um, to mark a couple of spots that they find challenging and then coming to me and make up rehearsals to say, hey, can you just play this part a few times on the piano? So people have really taken ownership of this and have made it their own.